Good morning, everyone. For the Theology of Heroes and Villains final project, I chose to analyze the 2016 film Sully. Released in September, it depicts the real-life events culminating in the 2009 bird strike, dual engine failure, and emergency water landing of U.S. Airways Flight 1549. In this project, I will be examining three major components of this movie. First, the philosophical messages of the film as it is developed and displayed through the worldviews of the hero and the villain. Second, the psychological connection of the story to myself personally. And third, the way in which these, mes these philosophical and psychological messages reflect society's views and speak to society through enlightenment, education, and challenge. In the movie, Chesley Sully Sullenberger, the movie's namesake, is also portrayed as the movie's hero. He was the captain of U.S. Airways Flight 1549, the pilot in command, who after experiencing dual engine loss, correctly decided that the only acceptable outcome was to ditch his passenger airliner in New York's Hudson River. The villains depicted in the movie were National Transportation Safety Board investigators investigating the circumstances leading to the accident. They were characterized as trying to demonize the pilots in an attempt to attribute the incident to pilot error, and thereby ignoring the other contributing factors to the accident. Although this depiction was not factual as, and was not supported by real-life events, the movie needed an antagonist, and these individuals were unfortunately selected to be the scapegoat. The movie was difficult to determine worldviews for, as Sully, the movie, contains no explicit references to God. Eventually, I was able to settle on naturalism as the worldview for the hero, and nihilism as the worldview for the villain. Using evidence, we can see why this is the case. Um, words spoken in the film and the trailer quote Sully's character as saying, quote, no one warned us. No one said, you are going to lose both engines at a lower altitude than any jet in history. This was dual engine loss at 2,800 feet, followed by immediate water landing with 155 souls on board. No one has ever trained for an incident like that, quote. Important components of the naturalistic worldview include knowledge being gained through science and morality being explained in terms of natural properties. This can be seen in the movie when hearing Captain Sully giving uh, testimony to NTSB, or National Transportation Safety Board, investigators. In his mind and in his experience, the aircraft was experiencing a major event, and it was his job to bring it to rest safely. How he accomplished this task would determine the lives and the futures of the 150 passengers on board. When he was constantly bombarded with the array of computerized warnings, task saturation, and decisions that he was challenged with, he was able to mentally compute only one acceptable solution, a water landing on the Hudson. The input parameters he was using for this decision making, likened to those natural properties of naturalism, presented that singular moral option, that singular acceptable solution to him through his decision making. In the same vein, we, say, we see the nihilistic worldview of the accident investigators. Key tenets of nihilism include the idea that everything is relative and the idea that meaning is derived. When being questioned at the investigation board, other investigators were trying to birth competing solutions to Sully's successful solution. They were trying to spawn a new possibility that would have offered an improved outcome, namely lack of destruction of the aircraft by landing on an, a runway at another available airport. That worldview, that mentality that they held, was not the world that Sully lived in. That worldview is characterized by the luxury of sitting in chairs after the fact, not living in the moment and rising up to an occasion where lives are on the line, seconds count, and second chances do not exist. Meaning is not derived from creating a better solution with the benefit of 2020 hindsight. Meaning is having your world falling apart in front of you and being forced to simultaneously both rise to the occasion and fall back on your training, all the while knowing that no points are awarded for second best. The investigators truly believed that everything was relative, and they could not see beyond the fact that time is life when you are being faced with the scenario that Sully was. They did not have to live with the burden that their actions in the next three minutes would literally write history. What Sully did in those critical 208 seconds following dual engine loss would make him either hero or zero. The investigators also believed that meaning was derived and could not possibly understand the role intuition played as a factor of Sully's success. 
This is evidenced when they argue with him that computer reports showed that a key piece of equipment was in fact operating, to which Seller replied, impossible, I felt it go. They could not understand why he did not attempt a turn back to his departure airport of LaGuardia or the nearby airport of Teterboro, a risky maneuver fraught with excessive bank angles at low altitude over a city. They could not understand that his hands, with 20,000 hours of flying experience, simply knew what the airplane could and could not do. Second, as for psychological connection to myself, this was a very important movie to me personally. As someone who aspires for a career in a safety-sensitive position, excellence is paramount to me. If I make a mistake, people get hurt or die. When people entrust their lives and the lives of those they love into my care, there is simply no room for error. I cannot look someone in the eye after the fact and say, I'm sorry, it was an accident. Sorry does not bring their loved one back. The only good outcome is to prevent tragedy before it strikes. And this is achieved through training. Just as Sully trained for an unlikely scenario, and then, when it mattered most, was able to salvage a seemingly impossible situation and stun the world, so too do I want to train today for tomorrow, so that when the unthinkable happens, I will not be frozen or paralyzed with fear or indecision, but will instead confidently thrive in that environment that few others can in terms of society's views, I think this movie itself sums it up best. In an uncertain and ever-changing world, people long for good news, information that they can cling to that despite the bad, some things are right in the world, and that sometimes there can be a happy ending. As one character so succinctly sums it up in our post-9-11 terror-ridden world, it's been a while since New York had news this good, especially with an airplane in it. Thank you for taking the time to listen to, listen to my views on the movie Sully. It is my hope that they may inspire you to live a life of greatness, to do heroic things that people will write books about someday, to be a pillar of certainty and safety in the time when people need you most. You have the power to transcend the ordinary. Will you rise to the challenge?